little tweak with the leg. He's in a fair bit of pain down there at the moment, so I'll keep an eye on him. I haven't watched the footage. Um, I can't remember what happened. It was just such a very innocuous thing um, that I can't really change too much about it. I don't think, oh, I wish I'd gone in this way or this way. Um, it's just, don't know whether it was meant to happen, but it happened and got to move on. That's life. This doesn't look good. Easy going down. Um, Big loss to the group uh, in, a, in a hole, but to the back line, I mean, he's best and fairest winner last year, our, our best defender. What's foremost in Eagle supporters' minds is that man right there. My immediate reaction is, you know, his mental state, but then I'll flip into, okay, well, we lost our best key defender, our best and fairest winner. Let's uh, let's solve a, solve a bit of a problem here, and that's not an overnighter. Yeah, it was a big. Big bit of adversity to overcome for the group um, pre home and away season. Uh, you lose your best and fairest winner, arguably you know, the best fullback in the game at the moment. It wasn't uh, it wasn't the ideal start to our 2015 campaign. Here's the latest on Eric McKenzie on crutches now. Pretty stiff. Mornings are the worst. Jump out of bed and uh, yeah, it's bent at 90 degrees almost, and takes a while to warm up. Uh, so it's just it's very slow. That's what I keep telling people. So the first significant milestone was two weeks after surgery, got rid of the crutches and the straight brace. Uh, I was very relieved to get rid of that. Then I had a bit more freedom, was able to hop in the car and drive around the block just because I could. Um, then I had the um, hinge brace on for another four weeks. So that was another milestone, got rid of that. And then the next big one really is um, 16 weeks where I can start to run. That's probably the main one I'm looking forward to. Um, actually feel some progress then, whereas at the moment it's very slow, just very menial little tasks you tick off each week, but each day and each week that goes by, um, just ticking them off. Spending a fair bit of uh, time in the weights room, which I don't usually do. Uh, so in three days a week to do weights, um, I do the reviews. We've got the Next Step program with uh, Shep and JB, uh, helping them make the next step up in their football. I give those two feedback um, on game day at half time in the breaks, uh, pass on any messages to Hick. And then also um, I do the reviews on the Tuesday morning, so I sit down, go through their tape, um, give them the feedback on how I thought they went. It's good to see Easy uh, be around the club as well. He's uh, mentoring a couple of the younger backmen, and he's got a lot to offer in that sense. So even though we've lost him on the field, we've still got him around the club teaching and uh, always are able to learn from, from one of the best. Part of my studies, I'm studying sports science. So I go over to Copenhagen to a sports science and football conference. Uh, the clubs recommended it, and part of my uni, I need to do prac. So uh, it, it ticks two boxes in going over there, and then going down to the Monaco Grand Prix. Once in a lifetime chance there. And number one ticket holders sort us out with some tickets. So looking forward to getting down there, meeting him down there, um, and enjoying a bit of sun.